I thought he had a really long beard, but I guess mine's getting a little bit long myself. There we go. So now. Chiquinha. Chiquinha. Let's go check out the room. Okay, I'm the content creator for this channel. If you like what I'm doing, just subscribe. And hit the like button. Okay, so this is some other ruins right here. We're gonna go check out that statue in a minute. And then this is basically this whole little um, tower thing. So we can um, go check it out. It's up all the ruins. That's kind of a cool photo right there. They're taking uh, pictures. Oh, it's pretty cool. You can see that picture and then they're gonna do it with this as the background right there. And we're gonna go check out um, Sao Paulo Ruins, of course. And then we're also gonna check out this little statue right here because this statue is it's pretty cool. Um, I think I might even take my mask off so I can do a photo next to it. But to see how this looks, right? So if we put us together, maybe it's here. This is right about here, right? Anyways, I thought he had a really long beard, but I guess mine's getting a little bit long myself. There we go. So now... Let's see who this guy is. 1552 to 1610, so that would have been right at the beginning. Everything's in Chinese, there's Portuguese, and there's also English, so let me just kind of put it on him a little bit and I'm going to read some of it. Um, he was born in Italy, 1552, Italian Jesuit, missionary work in China, um, absorbed uh, information about literature, mathematics, astronomy, uh, he was in a mission to Goa in India, um, and then he kind of kept going until he got to Macau, and then he, um, I think I kind of read other stuff about him in the past, but, um, oh, this memorates his 400th anniversary of his death, which was in um, 400 years, 2010, so he died in 1610. So this was a statue after he died, um, built about 10 years ago. And in this statue, he would have been um, commemorated and uh, placed here. But yeah, I think he was the guy that studied, um, he, he was really a um, strong Jesuit and he was really adamant about um, uh, converting things into Chinese so that the Chinese be, could be converted into um, Christians, which is pretty much the theme of almost all Europeans 400 years ago. So he was, um, so I think he, but he got really into it where I guess he used to wear Chinese garbs and, you know, studied Chinese quite a bit as well. So. Okay, so we, uh, there's all that construction right there. So um, we'll just stick with Sao Paulo ruins, but it's pretty cool. They got a pretty cool things going on here. Um, and then you can kind of see the Sao Paulo ruins here and here's the church. I think actually we might just stick this one, stick with this one in this little area and we'll do something different. But you can also see um, so these beautiful banyan trees up in the distance. We're just going to kind of show you some of these parks too. So there's there's a park right here with some a number of big banyan trees. Um, Sao Paulo ruins, back of this statue right here. And then let's just walk over on this side. And there's a big massive banyan tree right here. So let's just take a look at this one. This one they always kind of cut it so that people can sit underneath it and then yeah people will enjoy there's people all the way over there i think those are maybe filipinas on their day off i think and then of course local chinese or maybe tourist chinese i'm not sure but if you go right over here there's a museum of the entrance and then from the museum you can go up these escalators and then you can go right up in here and up here is a fortress so that's the fortress up here and then you can get these amazing views and you can overlook um much of the city so anyways, that's basically what this is all about. Let's come back to this guy and then we're gonna end it on him. Kind of cool looking guy. So okay, so we'll end the video right there. As he overlooks the city. Okay, there's some construction behind me, but uh, we're going to start this video at Tellus Fortress and we're going to go down to Sao Paulo Ruins and right now I'm kind of at this spot and you can see this is kind of a circulation place and you can see my Chinese shoes and we're going to explore but actually that construction is kind of loud so I think I'm going to turn off the camera for now.
Yeah. <laughs>